One of the most common things my clients and potential clients ask me about is how do I stay motivated? And we all know that motivation is BS, right? And it's really about building habits. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about the six steps to set up your life in a way where you don't have to even rely on motivation to reach your goals. All right. So step number one is find a strong why. Okay. If you don't have something that's a deeper reason why you want to achieve your goals than just losing weight, getting stronger, whatever your goals are, you're always going to let those goals take a back seat. You need to come up with a deeper reason why you want to achieve these goals. I'll give you mine for example. So my clients are my why. As an online fitness coach, like I have to lead by example. And this keeps me motivated every single day because I want to become the best version of myself for them. Now, you may not be a fitness coach, but I'm positive that you have people paying attention to what you're doing. So if you have kids or plan to have kids in the future, that should absolutely be your why. They're looking up to you as a role model, and they're going to be picking up everything that you're doing. So if you're letting yourself get out of shape, then they're going to carry that with them. If you prioritize your health, then you're going to pass that down. So... If you have a significant other, that's another reason why you need to be leading by example and be a strong partner and leader in that relationship. You're in this together and you're either going to lift each other up or you're going to drag each other down. So choose wisely. Now, if you don't have kids or a significant other, then you should be striving to become the person who will attract the right person into your life. So shift from a mindset of chasing chasing people and chasing love to attracting it. So now that you've come up with a strong why, that leads us to step number two. Okay, and step number two is to remove friction. All right, don't make things harder on yourself. You could just try to white knuckle your way through these goals, but why use extra willpower? Okay, so throw away the junk food that you have in your house, right? And do things like setting your clothes out the night before, um, like your workout clothes, packing your meals into a lunchbox that you can take to work, like bulk prepping your meals for the week so you don't have to think about it throughout the week. Do things to remove that friction that's holding you back. These little changes can make such a significantly big difference in the long run. Okay, so I had trouble remembering to weigh myself every day. Just forget about weighing myself. You know, this, the simple change I made was putting my scale in the path in the way to the bathroom. So it's impossible to forget every single morning. All right. So removing that little bit of friction and making it impossible to forget has made it so that the habit of weighing myself sticks every single day. Okay. So that's about removing friction. And that leads us to step number three, which is make it a project. Okay, don't just set a goal to, to gain strength, for example. Join a powerlifting competition so there's an actual event to keep you in line for that. Don't just set a goal to run more. Join a 5K or a 10K to train towards. Don't just set a goal to, to write more. If you've got a goal to, to, to start writing more, that was actually one of my goals. Start a newsletter. Make it a project. Make it something that you're working towards. Make your goals a project so that it's something you're working on and it makes it more real. I always have an event I'm training for, for my physical goals. I've done three powerlifting competitions. I plan to compete in bodybuilding this year. And it could even just be a photo shoot, right? It could be a photo shoot or, or just going to take pictures with your family. I used to train to look my best, best for photo shoots all the time. But the point is you should have a specific time period and specific date that you're training towards. This makes it so that you have a time frame to reach your goals and it keeps you on track towards that. That leads us to step number four. Step number four is reward yourself for achieving these goals, not just for rewarding yourself just for, for instant pleasure. So you should have a word set up along the way, but use them as just that, a reward, right? And rewards are earned, okay? I mentioned this in, in my last video, but you know I know we live in the participation trophy era, but I still believe rewards should be earned, okay? So instead of thinking of it as a cheat meal, each week. Think of it as a reward meal. You've got to earn it. So if you were on track all week with your meals, then by all means, enjoy that reward meal. 
Okay. But don't just buy things, for example, just because you want them in the moment. Something I do is I, if I really want to buy something, I'll, I'll tell myself that once I reach a certain milestone, I'll get it for myself. For example, I, I said this in the last video as well, but I bought this mic, this sure mic. Once I hit 1k subscribers on YouTube, and once I reach a certain milestone financially, I'm planning to buy myself like a nice computer desk and computer chair. Cause like I've mentioned, I'm working off of a bar that was a hand me down <laughs> just delaying that gratification for myself until I reach a certain milestone. So when you do this, you train your mind that you're rewarded for your hard work. And this really does start to rewire the way you think and act on a daily basis. And that leads us to step number five. And step number five is to curate your content, okay? Educate and research over consuming mindless content and mindless entertainment. Start curating your content so that you're only consuming positive content that aligns with your goals, okay? Subscribe to channels that uplift you, motivate, and educate you to stay on track towards that, like this channel, for example. And stop doom scrolling TikTok and shorts and reels and you know, just mindless entertainment. I recently removed TikTok from my phone, right? And I've made a huge conscious effort to shift from entertainment on YouTube to only educational content, audiobooks, and courses. So when you do this, you're literally shifting your mind from needing constant entertainment to, to needing constant reinforcement of the path that you're on. And that leads us to step number six, and that's to commit to other people. It's kind of a sad reality, but we, we usually care more about letting other people down than letting ourselves down. So find an accountability group, accountability partner, a mentor, and stay accountable to others so you're not in this alone. You're the average of who you let influence you, right? And the beautiful thing now is that you can curate that influence. Join an, a fitness community online if you have a big fitness goal. Join a business community if you're trying to grow your side hustle into your main business. Join a writing community if you're wanting to write more. I've done all three of those things, and it's helped me a lot. So I just wanted to use those as examples. And for all my goals, I've also found someone who's much better at the thing than me that I'm wanting to do to mentor me. I had a business coach to help me start my online fitness program. I had a powerlifting coach to train for my last powerlifting competition. I have a bodybuilding coach right now that's helping me prepare to step on stage this year. The point is, the more you commit to groups, mentors, and accountability partners, the more likely you are to stick and reach to your reach your goals. If you follow the steps in this video, then you really can be unrecognizable in 2025. So go take action, take control, elevate every damn day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Elevate. Only obligation is to tell it straight.